Hi again, folks. Robert here with more Navis Works training. And in this exercise, we're going to look at the Autodesk rendering module and we're going to apply uh, materials to objects in the scene. So we're going to just stay with this home view for now. Uh, this model, so I took from one of my training books, The Infinite Skills. So, um, yeah, we can use our other models that we practice on, but let's just use this for now to get started. So here we have uh, some views that's already set up, but we're going to just work in here with the uh, home view of the model. So the first thing we want to do, we need to create sets. So we go into our selection set that we pulled it down out of here from the um, home tab so i just pull this guy down right here and the first thing you want to do you want to hit this little fly out and it says selection resolution first object so yeah i'm going to stay with the first object and then i'll go in and hit select so i'll select and once that's selected we did this before, so you guys should remember. We'll go to this little button here, and we'll select the same. We'll go with same type. So that selected all my roofs. And then once that's done, I want to save the selection. And we'll rename this to roof. And to select. So next we'll go here, let me see, I think I'll take this glass now. We'll hit select. Okay. We'll just one pane here, I think. Okay, now we have it selected, so we'll go and then we'll same type. And we'll save selection set. We'll call this glazing. Okay. So now the next thing we'll do, let's zoom in here. What do we have here? Some kind of siding on this building. So let's do this. Let's keep it at siding. We'll go in our select, we'll pick it, and then we'll select the same type. Okay, so we have all our siding selected. So let's go in and save the selection. We'll rename this one to exterior siding. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? Gonna just pick anywhere to deselect it. So we just got three sets here. So let's just also take this pipe <clears throat> and go back to the home view. Or you can set up viewports just as well to make this work better for you. So let's zoom in here. Let's select this pipe. We'll do a same type. Okay, picked it all up. Save selection. Rename. To pipe. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on right here, but let's go and take a closer look here. Looks like some type of equipment. How many sets do we have? We have only four. Let's pick up one more. Get a little curdy. Okay, we got a gutter, looks like something going on there. So let's, well, let's pick this column here. So let's select it. Uh, same type. Okay. 
We only have one of those, okay. So let's pick up something that we can really render and show. So let's select, I think we got a gutter here, yeah. So we'll select, same type. And I think we picked them all up. So let's save the selection. Let's call this, uh, I don't know what that is. It's just called it gutter. So we got five and that's good for starting out. So now let's just check this wall here and see what's going on with this. Uh, and another wall. Okay. Yeah. So let's call this, uh, This is called a stereo wall to go on save selection. We'll rename this exterior wall to. Okay. So now we got all our selection sets set. Pick, oh, let's pick this one right here as well. I don't know, I think that might have been in the roof category, but let's just go in and, and, and make sure. So we want to sign type. Okay, let's uh, save this selection. And we'll call this, uh, mechanical roof. So MEC roof. And now we'll say okay. So now we've got all our selection sets and done and ready to go. You need selection sets to add material. I'm gonna show you why. So let's go into our render tool and let's set the Autodesk uh, rendering panel. And then this dialog box opens up uh, somewhere. It should open up. Mm -hmm. Let's just pull this guy down. This thing is work better when you pull him out. There's our Autodesk rendering um, dialog box. My machine is a little slow again. Sorry. Once it gets this right in, okay, now. We'll just move this over so we can see what's going on because we're going to need to show our our set. So the first thing we do, we grab, we open up our sets. And we'll smooth this out of the way. Um, those double screens is good for this because as you can see. So let's go into our sets. Let's go with roof. Now here, in this left pane, let's go down the roofing. And then in the right pane, you have all your different weather, your roofing types. So let's just go and call this uh, let's call this shingle light brown. And then you either right click or just push the arrow up to add to the selection list. So it's up there. And if I pick out of it, there's our roof. Let's go through our selection sets. Let's look at glazing. Go down to glazing or glass. Glazing. And these are all your different types of glazing. So let's go with. Uh, Let's go with a blue glazing here. Oh, well, let's make it. Let's make this gold. There's our glazing. 
material head. Go back to your sets. Now let's look at our siding. And we'll go down to the siding here. Let's kind of make this match. Um, let's go with a wood horizontal. Or let's do a wood cedar. <coughs> okay, and then we'll go to our next set. We'll look at our pipe. And our pipe will be a metal. And let's make it uh, just be fabricated since it's pipe. Let's go with a uh, hmm, steel galvanized. Probably needs to be galvanized on the roof. So we have that. There's our pipe now. Let me do that again to see what happens here. Yep, it's there. So let's do our gutter. Let's go to aluminum. Let's go with a brushed. A brushed blue silver for the gutter. So as you see, it's coming together here. Go back to our sets. Now this is our exterior two roof, this roof right here. So let's make this a masonry. Let's do a brick. And let's make this um, Let's make this a running, well, I don't know. <laughs> so you have to really get your, let's make this a running brown, no burgundy. So there we have it. Now let's go back into our sets, do our mechanical roof. This will be roofing. Let's call this uh let's make this an asphalt. Add two materials. And there you go. So that's basically how you do materials. And then once you get your materials done here, um, go back to my home view. Let's zoom in here and look at these. So you can even go and change this. Say I might not like this yellow here. I might want to make that a blue. So I will just go back into the sets, I think, and try it something here. Pick up my glazing. And say we want to change this now to... Sorry, folks, this is just uh, one of those things with this little laptop. <laughs> so go to back to glazing. And I want to do a, let's do a reflected, a light blue reflected. There you go. That's a little better. So anyway, uh, I want to now show you one other thing. So once we have our, 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 our model with all of the uh, materials added, we can go do a ray trace. And let's say do a low quality just for the medium quality, just for time's sake, because we don't have time or you can render in the cloud or, you know, use your render gallery. So, uh, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some out of it. This is uh, how you uh, use out of this rendering module to add material. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Until next time, I'll, bye.